This is a presentation template to put all of your students on one single set of Google Slides. And what's nice about this one is that it's a template, so it can be any assignment description. But once you go to slide two, every student has their own link. So if student 18 clicks once on their name, and this little URL thing pops up, and they click down, it takes it all the way down to students 18 slides. And they have one, two slides for them to complete the assignment. Student 33, click once, click again, and they're all the way down on 33's own slides. And this is set to anyone with link can edit, and that's an important part of this process. And so what I want to show you is how to do, how to move this into your own Google Drive so you have your own template. So the first thing that you do is this is just something that everyone has access to, but if I press File, make a copy, I'm going to call this my whole class template. I'm going to put slides. So these are Google Slides. Press OK. OK, now if I just close this, this is now my own copy. And that's what you would do as well. So now you have your own copy in your Google Drive. So if I look right here and I press the Recent button, there is my whole class template. It's now mine. I can actually edit this. But this is just my template. I never actually use this. I wouldn't use this if I want to do a lesson with my students. Then I, one more time, I just keep making copies of this because this linking right here is a pain in the butt. So what you want to do is you want to preserve that and keep all these slides clean Anytime you want to execute one of these lessons with your students, it's File, Make a Copy. Let's go say P1 Vocab Flashcards. Let's say I'm going to give all my students access to this. And they're all going to make their own flashcards. Every kid's going to have their own um, vocab words. And they have to do an image, definition, use it in a sentence on these slides. All right, pretty normal assignment. So I've made a copy of my template to do this actual assignment. My very last step is to give students access so that anyone can edit. So share, advanced, private, not private anymore, let's change that. Anyone with link can view, no, can edit, save. And done. And so I need to give my students this link up here, copy it and paste it onto my daily agenda somewhere. Link to today's assignment, right? And then I just highlight, chain symbol, and paste in the link. So I need to get this link, the actual assignment, with the assignment description somewhere on my website. So now they follow that link, everybody's on, and starts contributing.